Now I have shot this two times before. But I'm a knobhead, so yeah, that didn't really work out. Alright, so we need a logo for our corporation. And we need a light to date because we need to launch this whole thing and what is, what is that? Well, it's the name of our corporation in a bold font. You're a genius. At this point, every YouTube on the planet and their dog have all made a video on simplified corporate logos. And now I am added to the list. But there's a good reason to make one of these because like, look at these logos. They're all just lifeless. There are so few colors, often just two different colors to match black and white, but in a slightly more interesting way. Look what they did to the Pringles logo. It's all just a mess. It's, it's not good. Pepsi had this fancy scribble at first and then they went to a slightly less fancy scribble and then they changed the name and then they just have this bubble cap and they all went just a circle with three colors in it. What? <laughs> Firefox, the ultimate example. They are starting to fade away. Instagram had this fancy camera, slightly old camera, but still a pretty fancy camera. And then they went to a slightly less fancy camera. Then we have the back of the camera and now just a colorful background with some white lines. And I don't understand it. <laughs> Nike just removed all of its color. And now it's just black and white. And Netflix has just removed all the depth that could ever be there. And it's just red text on a white background. With this being said, I believe anyone can become a graphics designer. And that is exactly why I'm gonna become one today. So let's take this, and let's take this, and let's go over to the computer. All right, so let's start with Pepsi. Uh, they have had quite a history with the logos, let's just say that. But th this is very simplified already. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make this way more simplified than it really should be and just do that. That looks like a Pepsi logo, I can, I can see that on the wall. And so this is Chrome's history, and uh, there isn't really much to simplify here, because as you can see, it's just gone from less and less detail and shine and shadow, and now we have literally no shine and detail and shadow, so I guess we gotta go with the other logo redesigns that Google has had in like 2020 I think this was a thing that they just redesigned everything to have this specific color scheme so I guess we gotta do the same with Chrome I don't think it gets a lot more simplified than that, that that's just a bad drawing what, why am I doing this now I think we can do something with Instagram because there's not much going on but I still think we can do something uh, so yeah here it is the new logo uh, yeah, right, you can't see it, because, well, it's just the lines. Why do I think that Instagram could actually do this? And so this is a rather blur example of what the Firefox logo has used to look like and looks like nowadays. And uh, then we have the future version, which is basically just that. A fix we, we need a fix really quickly <laughs> please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment of what kind of sketches and things you want to see from the channel and i will see you later Bye. <laughs>